Hey guys. So um, it's been quite a while since we've updated you guys with any kind of video or anything over on our YouTube channel. And I'm hoping to kind of get back in the swing of things over here. Uh, but I've been having a lot of eye surgeries the past couple of months. Um, but I did kind of share that story over on our Instagram. So if you want to check that out, there is a highlight. Just go to eye surgery. Link for Instagram is below. Um, but today I'm going to be doing tomatoes. I've got about two five gallon buckets ready to go um, and some more that's got to be picked. So I'm just going to do um, just canning some tomatoes for, we like to do a lot of chili, um, tomato or uh, vegetable soup, tomato, all kinds of stuff. So um, just canning the tomatoes kind of leaves it open to where the recipe that we're going to cook at that time. Um, you know, it's just like we don't go on and season things. Um, we just kind of leave it blank. That way we can season it when we go to cook. Um, so start off, um, I got my oven at 250 with my jars in there. Got about 15 quart jars in the oven getting sanitized. Got three big bowlfuls of Roma tomatoes that are already washed and ready to go. Um, and I've got me a pot of water here. Kind of show you guys. It's just a pot of water. Um, it's not boiling, but um, it's steaming. If you can't tell, um, and I'm getting ready to drop my tomatoes down in there. It is. You can kind of see the steam going. So I've got my tomatoes. So I'm just gonna drop them down in here. Tomatoes in there. Um, I do just want these to stay in here just for a few minutes and let them um, kind of cook up just a little bit, just enough to get that skin to where it's easy to peel off. So um, I had my first little batch in here for a few minutes. Um, I took them out when the skin kind of gets kind of pruney looking. Um, it kind of breaks open. Let me find one that's broke apart. So like how the skin gets like that, um, just a few minutes. So then you take them out and then I just go on and do all of them like this. And then once they all get done like that, then I will show you how I peel them and cut them up and get them ready to cook. And you can tell they're kind of splitting open. So I'm gonna go on and take them out and set them off to the side. Okay, so this is where things are going to get a little messy. So I got me a towel down, got me an extra towel for my hands. Um, and like I mentioned earlier, you can never have too many bowls. So I get me a nice empty bowl. Um, and then you're going to take the ones that just came out. Here's one with a spot on it. We'll go on and use that one. They're really, really hot. So um, this is the time when if you have any spots on them, like you have here, you're going to cut that off. Cut that right off and throw it away and then peel the rest of it's hot um, and then you want to cut your core off the top of it and I just toss it in my thing and then I go on and toss them down into my pot over here um, and then they stay in there until they get nice and cool and the rest of them go and then I just kind of mush them up um, you can you can cut them up I'm doing filming by myself today so bear with me okay so um today um since they're kind of really really hot and i'm still letting others go because i kind of try to multitask a little bit get the process going because if i don't it takes all day um but so i'm just going to go on and peel them cut the bad spots off put them in that pot and leave them in there and then once i'm ready to get ready to go then i'll kind of chop them up or if they get nice and cool and i got a little bit then i'll i'll cut them but um if you wait till yours are cool, you can go in and cut them up before you put them in the pot. Um, this is just how I did it, so. Okay, so I've got all my tomatoes peeled um, in, in my pot over here. So now I'm just gonna turn it on and kind of bring it up to a little bit of a boil and get them cooking a little bit. And then um, once they kind of get up to a, a boil simmer, I'm gonna leave them in here. And then I've got all my jars out of the oven. They are still really, really hot. I've got my funnel. And then I've got my 
seals back here. I've got them on a medium heat because I don't want it to boil. I just want it to get it nice and hot. Um, and yeah. Alrighty, we're getting ready to get boiling. I've been stirring it constantly just so that bottom does not get scorched. So I'm gonna get ready and start filling up my jars over here. Alright, I'm gonna turn my pot down just a little bit. I still want to keep it nice and going um, and warm and hot, but I don't want it to scorch the bottom. So here we go. I'm back to doing this by myself again, so bear with me. I'm making more of a mess than anything. Now that I've got that done, I'm gonna add a teaspoon of salt to each one. All right, and then I'm gonna do that for all of them. And I'll show you how I clean the tops and put the seals on in just a second. Okay, so now that I've got all of my jars filled up, um, it only filled up two, four, six, eight, ten jars. Um, so now I'm going to take damp paper towel. I'm going to run it around each top of the jar lid. Because see, as you can see right there, there is some juice that gets spilt around the top. Um, this just ensures a um, good seal on all the jars. Once that's done, I do not have a fancy magnet thing. This is just one that I kind of made up myself. I get out the um, the seals. I want to dry that off. Really good. And then just sit it down on top. Take my ring. Put it on there nice and tight. And I'm gonna do that for all 10 jars. Okay. So now that I've got all of my seals on, I'm gonna take them and flip them upside down. I'm using a towel because they are really, really hot. So I got enough room going on over here. All right. And then I'm just going to leave them like this for just a few minutes, maybe about five minutes. Um, and then I'm going to come back over and flip them back up and... And um, then that's when they will start to seal and do that clinging, popping, ringing, whatever you want to call it. They start singing to you, playing music, but um, it's my favorite part. Uh, so yeah, I'll come back on here and let you guys hear it. Okay guys, I'm back. So it's been about five minutes. So I'm going to take my towel, flip them back over, and then I'm going to lay my towel on them. Um, that kind of helps them cool down slow because you don't want them to cool down really really fast um the towel just kind of gives them a little bit of a shadow and it helps keep some of the heat in there so they don't cool down too quick so. start here
space them out just a little bit. Okay. Getting the towel over them. Cut. And we'll wait for them to pop. Okay, I'm back. So, um, my phone died, so I didn't get the whole, um, popping sound, but they are all sealed now. And yeah, so um, if you have any questions on this technique or anything, just comment below or um, find me on Instagram, send me a message, but I'll be happy to answer any questions you guys have.